In this tutorial, we are going to talk about Galancing Collision, which is under linear momentum. So, Galancing Collision uh, is a type of collision where when two objects collide, after collision, the two objects they are going to be moving at an angle. Okay? What I mean there is, um, what is going to happen is um, elastic collision, where the two objects they are going to be moving with a separate velocity. That is after collision. So let's say we have um, two marbles. Let's say we have marble A and marble B. Okay? So this is before collision. Let's call this one to be M1. Let's call this one to be M2. Or I can say this is MA. Okay. This is MA. Let's call this one to be MB. So this is going to be moving with a certain velocity which we are going to call uh, velocity A, which is initial. Okay. Then initially, B is going to be at rest, meaning that the initial velocity of B is zero. Okay, so this is moving in this direction. So, object A, or marble A, is going to bump into B. Then B now will start moving. So after collision, this is what is going to happen. Okay, so this A will be moving in that direction, and B will be moving in that direction. So, we are going to have the velocity of A final and the velocity of B final. But what we have to remember is that there are going to be an angle which is going to be formed here between the x-axis and the vector which you have, the velocity. So here, I'm going to have the theta. Now this theta, because it's the theta for the velocity A, I'm going to call theta A. This is going to be theta B. Okay, so now this is galancing collision. Now the basic idea behind galancing collision is that this is now after collision. So what is happening here is uh, these two objects they are going to be moving in x-axis. That is initially. Then after collision, these two guys are going to be moving at an angle, meaning that we are going to have the direction in x as well as in y. Okay. So now, what we have to understand here is that if you have, let's get our VA to be here, our VA fine. So it has X axis, it also has Y axis. So I'm going to say this is my VAX and this is my VY, or let me say VAY. Using Sokatoa, I can clearly see that I'll have um my VA my VAX using Sokatoa which is going to be VA uh, which is VA cos theta okay then my VAY is going to be VA which is going to be opposite of hypotenuse which is going to be my VA sine theta now I'm done with that one now I can also get the VB we can clearly see that the VB, the, the velocity is moving in that direction, okay? Meaning that I have got my x-axis and my y-axis, which is pointing down. So, what we have to, to remember is that velocity is a vector, okay? So, this is my VB. I have got the theta, which is theta B. So, I'll have my VBX and my, v, my VBY. Using Sokatoa, I can clearly see that my V my V B X will be equal to V B cos theta. Now this theta we have to show that is theta A. This is also theta A. Then this is theta B. Then my V B Y is going to be now we can clearly see that this V B Y is moving toward the negative side. So I can see that it's going to be negative V B sine theta b okay so this is very very important 
now from here I can derive the equations okay now we have to start with the first equation which is going to be the x-axis so we're going to have two equations the equation for the x-axis because this object was moving both in x as well as in y okay so the x-axis I'm going to write here to say my x x direction I'm, I'm now trying to drive the equations okay I can clearly see that initially I have um, ma va initial plus mb so this is initial at rest then vb initial this has to be equal to ma v now since it is x direction meaning I'm talking about it, vax plus mb vbx now I can clearly see that it, from my, from these guys which I've just come up with here I'll be replacing VX with the formulas which I have just come up with here so what I'm going to do here is um, I know that it was initial at rest meaning that this is going to be zero so therefore I'll have MA VA initial is equal to I'll also have my MA there but what is VAX okay VAX is here VAX is VA cos theta A so it's VA cos theta A plus what is it? I have MB then I have v, uh, VBX so VBX is VB cos theta B so it's VB cos theta B meaning that this is going to be my equation for x axis so whenever we are talking about galancing collision you can use this equation for the x axis or the x direction that is going to be our equation now we can go ahead and talk about y okay so now if we want to talk about y i'm going to to put y here okay so i'll say my y direction so my y direction I can clearly see that initially before collision MA and MB they are only moving in x direction therefore we don't expect to have motion in, in y direction meaning that before collision in y direction we have zero but after collision we have in y direction we're going to have mm vay plus mb vy uh, va which is vb sorry y now from there i'll say zero is going to be equal to i have my ma so what is my view ay we can clearly see that my vay is va sin theta b so it's va sin theta b okay sin theta a so let me put it, theta a now here it is plus but what we have to remember is that i have m b then my vby is negative vb sin theta b so i'm going to say it's negative v b sin theta b okay now i can clearly see that i can get rid of this i no longer need this so in y axis i can clearly see that i'll have this formula then minus mb vb sin theta b now if i want i can just leave it here to say this is my formula for the for the y axis 
Now, from there, if I want, I can shift this, the one which is having negative, to the left hand side. Then I can have another one, I can say, I'm going to have my formula which is mm, or let me say mb, vb sin theta b is equal to ma va sin theta b, sin theta a. So I can also say that this is my formula for the x for the y axis for the y direction. So you can either use this or this, but they're the same. Okay? Now I've got uh this interesting question here. I've already uh, come up with the formulas. Now we need just to to see how we are going to solve it. So the question is saying a pool ball a pool ball A of mass M A is equal to 0 0.400 kg moving with a speed of VA which is 1.8 uh, meters per second along positive x-axis strike another ball B initially at rest of mass 0 0.500 kg the collision is out in ball A being deflected off at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to positive x-axis with the speed of 1.10 meters per second part A or part 1 is saying write down the equations expressing the conservation of momentum in the x and y direction okay now for you to come up with the equations this is what I've done so this is the equation for the x, the, uh, x direction and then this is the equation for the y direction but you have to come from there you have to come from here even here you have to come from there you have to show where it is coming from which is very very important now but two is saying solve the equations for the speed of ball b after the collision and the angle of ball b okay now before we solve this i just want to show you something if maybe you want to register with Transcendent Institute, this is what you have to do. So what you have to know is uh, we have the website. Our website can help you to revise uh, all the topics. Okay. So now let's assume to say you, you got your Chrome. Okay. You got your Chrome and then you just type transcended institute so you just type transcended institute this is what you're going to see so this is our website okay so this is what we're going to see so here is our website Now, let's assume to say uh, you want to register with Transcended Institute. Okay, you just scroll down, then you go where I say e-learning. Now, you're going to, to, to have this. So, you, you have got mathematics here, then there's physics, biology. There's chemistry for second year, biochemistry for second year, math 2110, chemistry. Now let's assume to say you want to access videos for physics. You just click on physics. Now let's go direct to these are the courses which are there. Let's 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 say you want to access the videos for linear momentum because we are just solving the questions for linear momentum. So let's say you want to go on linear momentum. So these are the videos for linear momentum. There is introduction to, linear, uh, to momentum and impulse, elastic collision, uh, in elastic collision, the recall velocity, glancing collision. This is glancing collision detailed. You cannot find these videos on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. You can only find them uh, on our website. Then there's also ballastic pendulum. Yeah, so we have everything here. Okay. So we also have um the videos for circular motion 
these are the videos for circular motion we, we even have the throw sheet here okay so now what is happening here is that uh, if you want to register with us it's only 100 kwacha per course per month then you'll be able to access all the videos in this course now sometimes uh, I can also show you on YouTube there are some videos which you can't access but if you register with us you'll be able to access these videos okay they are very very important so I have my let me show you something let me show you something so if you go on our YouTube channel which is Transcended Institute you will be able to see this so if you go on our videos then you scroll down you'll be able to see this these, these ones these videos you can't watch them unless if you register with us so there is this conical pendulum which is under circular motion is one hour there's biology test 2 2021 explained then there is even 2020, 2012 exam biology past papers if you want to see them all you can go on membership so if you go on membership you'll be able to see all these videos we have all these videos these videos you can't watch them unless if you you register with us there is meiosis 2 there is Mio, this is biology then we have circular motion rotation work energy and power past papers so we also solve past papers okay we even have projectile motion past papers static equilibrium past papers we have work energy total sheet so we have everything okay so without wasting our our time let's go ahead and solve this question so we are saying that the the that one is saying write down the equation expressing uh, the conservation of momentum in the x and y direction separately we can clearly see that we have already come up with the equations now part b is saying solve the equation for the speed over over Bobby after the collision and the angle of Bobby. So what we can do here is uh, from the information which we have, allow me to get rid of this so that I ha I collect my data. Okay. So I'm going to say we have got M M, which is zero point four kgs. We have got M B, which is um zero point five kgs what else do we have so they're saying that uh, ma initially it was moving with the initial speed of 1.8 meters per second meaning that this was initial at rest from here b was initial at rest meaning that va vb initial was zero okay so the collision result in bo a being deflected at an angle of so we have got theta a which is 30 degrees okay then again the final velocity which is we can say it is v a final is what is um v a final which is 1.10 meters per second now write down the equation we have already come up with the equations so let me just put these equations in order I have got my first equation in x-axis okay I'll just put it here I'll put it here then I'll also put this one here the second one okay so I'll have my second one which is um, this one I'll put it here so those are our equations okay if I want I can just get rid of this to make things simple I want to get rid of this so that our equation should be clear as in there
okay so now we have our data we want to see what we're going to have remember we have our VA okay and we have our theta the question is we need to find the VB final which we don't know the theta B which we don't know so it's just a matter of us plugging in the value so I'll start with the X so the x-axis this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis so now let's start with that one we have our ma what is our ma our ma is 0 .0 0 0.4 our va initially is uh, 1.8 okay this has to be equal to our ma is 0 0.4 then times our va our v we have already found okay our va now is uh, which is the final is one point is one point one zero cause what is theta a theta a is thirty degrees plus our mb is um zero point four zero point five not zero point four then what else we have uh, our velocity b we don't know then again the angle for B we don't know okay so I can get my calculator and say what is 0 point, um, 0 0.4 times 1.8 this is 0 0.7 so I'll put here 0 0.7 2 this is going to be equal to now we have 0 0.4 times 1 point I'm now doing this so you have 0 0.4 times 1.10 I'm getting 0 0.44 so now I will say 0 0.44 cos 30 which is 0 0.381 then this plus 0 0.5 VB cos B cos theta B okay now from here I can shift this to the left hand side then I'm going to have 0 0.72 minus 0 0.381 is equal to 0 0.5 VB cos theta B so I'll have 0 0.72 minus 0 0.381 so this is going to give me 0 0.339 is equal to 0 0.5 VB cos theta B. So I can divide both sides by 0 0.5. Here I can divide it by 0 0.5. Even here by 0 0.5. So I'll be able to see that. Let me get rid of this. I'll get rid of this and then I'll say my VB uh, cos theta B is going to be I have 0 0.339 divided by 0 0.5 so this is giving me 0 0.678 so now I don't have theta remember I don't have the velocity B and the theta therefore I need another equation for me to find that and we can clearly see that we have also equation for y axis so allow me to put this one here so I say my VB cos theta B is equal to 0 0.678 let's leave it there now let's go to y axis okay so I no longer need this equation so let's just shift this one to bone top a bit so let's go to y axis now so what is happening here is that we say that if we shift this to the other side we can clearly see that our equation is going to be is going to be mb vb sin theta this is sin theta b is equal to ma va sin theta m 
let's plug in the values so we have our MB to be 0 0.5 okay then our VB we don't know sin theta B we don't know but MA we know that is 0 0.4 then again our VA we already know that our VA is um, we already know that our VA is 1.2 1.10 sin the theta the theta we know that is 30 okay degrees so now what what are we going to have 0 0.5 vb sin theta b is equal to so first i need to, to say 0 0.4 times 1.10 which is 0 0.44 so i'll say 0 0.44 sin 30 which is going to give me 0 0.22 now what I can do now here is uh, I'm going to divide again here by 0 0.5 even here by 0 0.5 so that uh, these two should cancel then I'll remain with my VB sin theta B is equal to so 0 0.22 divided by 0 0.5 which is uh, 0 0.44 Okay, so I can put this one now here. My VB sin theta B is 0 0.44. So I'll leave it there. Now I have two equations. I have two equations. What can I do? What I can do now is um, I can make one as a subject of formula. Okay. For this case, I can make B as a subject of formula if I want. So I'm going to say, I'll say, uh, I'll, I'll use equation 1. So this is my equation 1 and this is my equation 2. So in equation 1, I'm going to make VB as a subject of formula. So I have VB cos theta B to be equal to 0 0.678. So I'll divide both sides by cos theta b even here by cos theta b so these two cancel I'll have my VB to be equal to 0 0.678 divided by cos theta b now what I'm going to do here is um, in equation 2 where there is VB I'm going to put 0 0.678 divided by cos theta okay so now allow me to shift this to be just here on top. Okay, this one I'll put it here. So I have to make this as a subject of formula. I'm going to say, I'll say um, my VB, I have to replace it with what is 0.0. So I'll say 0 0.678. I divide it by cos theta B times I have sine theta b this has to be equal to 0 0.44 now I can clearly see that this is sine divided by cos what is sine divided by cos that is tan meaning that now I have um, 0 0.678 tan theta which is b is equal to 0 0.44 I can divide both sides by 0 0.678 even here 0 0.678 so what I'm going now to have uh, these two cancel I'll have tan theta tan theta b to be equal to 0 0.44 divided by 0 0.678 if you want you can find the answer there but what I'm going to do now I'll continue from there and say I'll continue from there and say I have this theta here so dividing both sides by tan I can clearly see that theta, uh, theta will be equal to tan inverse then I'm going to have 0 0.44 divided by 0 0.678 
let's see so our theta b will be so take shift turn open brackets 0 0.44 divided by 0 0.678 so i'm getting my angle to be 32.9 i'm getting my angle to be 32. Point 982 degrees which is the same as 33 degrees so my theta b is 33 degrees okay so i can just put it there so theta b is 33 degrees now the question was we need to find the theta at the same time we need to find the the what we need to find the speed now which is vb we are trying to find vb meaning that it's vb final remember our formula which we have here we made this guy to be the subject of formula vb now we have our theta okay this is what we have if you want you can you can use this to find b you can use that one to find b it's okay so i'm going to use this since we i made vb as a subject of formula so i'm going just to plug in i'll say my vb will be equal to 0 0.678 divided by cos the theta now is 33 degrees so i'll say my vb is going to be 0 0.6 Seven eight, I divide it by cos thirty three. So the velocity I'm getting for VB is uh, zero point eight one. Okay, zero point eight one meters per second. This is the velocity I'm getting. So now. That is it for for this question. So, in conclusion, what we have to remember under glancing collision is that the equation initially for the x-axis you are going to have uh, the x the x equation before collision, but for y-axis you're not going to it's going to be zero because initially you don't have any motion in y direction before collision the y comes in after collision okay then you have to take note of this negative when you're writing the formula okay so now we have just let's just review what we have done so far we are saying that if you have got an object this object bumped into that one so it's going to deflect there it's going to deflect so this is going to be we we are saying that if this is object a this is object b so what is going to happen there is that in x direction we are going to have before collision we have the um, the velocity there the this these two objects were moving in x direction before collision okay then after collision now we can see that they are moving both x and y so in y direction it only starts from after collision okay that is very very important now you don't have to forget the negative because for this guy because it's pointing toward negative